Hey everyone, Brickhouse here with another video. Um, I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to had to say something about this from the Post Millennial. Drew Barrymore kneels before trans-identified TikToker Dylan Mulvaney in gushing display of deference. Barrymore confessed to being a huge Mulvaney fan. Now, first of all, I gotta say, Woman, what is wrong with you? You're kneeling to a man. Well, let me hop right into this. Uh, Dylan Mulvaney appeared on the Drew Barrymore Show Monday, imparting wisdom to fellow transgender people just starting their gender journey and encouraging parents of so-called trans kids to support their confused children in their belief that they are members of the opposite sex. Dylan, if that was the case, there'd be more trans people in this country. I know plenty of girls that I grew up with that were tomboys, that are happy women. I know a few boys at a young age that they are not women. Because of what they did at a young age. At one point, Barrymore, one of the most famous women in the world, kneeled before Mulvaney in a gushing display of deference to the male who shot to fame performing an over-the-top ditzy woman persona in the TikTok series 100 Days of Girlhood. First of all, you're not a girl. I know some people are going to be upset at telling me that. They're going to tell me I'm gender shaming. They're, I'm whatever. Not a girl. A bi biological male. Not a they, them. Not a she, her. Not even a he, him. In fact, hell with the pronouns. Pronouns are stupid. Secondly, you're not assigned gender at birth. By your doctor. Your gender is based on what's between your legs. How have we become so damn stupid in this country? And keep in mind, we're about the only country in the world that supports this stuff. If Dylan Mulvaney went to the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, Yemen, Qatar. Name, name the Middle Eastern country. Jordan, Syria. Dude, you wouldn't survive. That's all I'm going to say. Barrymore confessed to being a huge Mulvaney fan, seeing the TikTok influencer who calls women's genitals Barbie pouches as having the gift of educating people and opening minds. No. No. The interview took place on Mulvaney's 365th day impersonating women. And the social media star wittered on at length about the glitzy plans to mark the occasion. I mean... It... People need to wake up to this crap. It's out and out right crap. Dylan Mulvaney is nothing but a grifter. He garnered attention for dressing up like a woman, acting like a woman, and putting it all over social media. In fact... I wouldn't say that he's trans. Dare I say? I think he's just sick in the head. My personal opinion. And, and, and women. Women 
like Drew Barrymore kneeling. And I'll say it again. Kneeling before him is an affront to womanhood. This is no different than, I shouldn't say no different. This is akin to the women that accept women competing in men or men competing in women's sports because the dude couldn't cut it competing against men, but hell yeah, I'm going to compete against the women and blow them all out of the water. So, agree with me? Disagree with me? I'd love to hear your comments on Dilla Mulvaney and his journey as a woman. I'd love to hear your comments, what your feelings are about Drew Barrymore kneeling in front of Dilla Mulvaney, just gushing over him. So please comment. I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, like this video if you like the content that I'm putting out. Uh, everything from culture to news to politics to sports to technology. Even though I haven't gotten into the tech stuff yet. It's coming. It's coming soon. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I, when I upload content on a daily basis, Monday through Friday. And yeah. Uh, I I saw this and I women should be outraged at this, but what do I know? So that's all I have for right now. Uh, we will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in.